Pasibaigęs Europos vyrų krepšinio čempionatas nepaliko be jingų ir Kauno Žalgirije. Komandos vyriausiasis treneris taip pat achilai stebėjo čempionato eigą ir pasidalino mintimis apie finalinę Lietuvos ir Prancūzijos dvikovą. Lithuanian national team, they had some great games, they play very good, they play as a team. France, they surprised, I will say, the last half of the semifinal and in the final. Because they play very good, it was not only Tony Parker, there were other players, for example, Batum show up in the final and score many important points in this game. On the other hand, we have to say a big bravo and congratulations to the national team of Lithuania. to the players, to the coaching staff, because they play very good. They show that Lithuanian basketball is still one of the top teams in Europe. Sidabrinėje Lietuvos rinktinėje žaidinė devini krepšininkai Viltėje Žalgirio marškinėlius. Ekipo strategas Vilėsi jog ir ateitį ekipą dalyguos ne vieną žadėje į nacionalinę komandą. It's very good to have, you know, players from Žalgiris to the national team. This is our goal also this season, because this season we start to reconstruct the team. We need to work a lot with the young players and produce new players for Lithuanian basketball national team and also for our team, for Žalgiris. Tough for every coach who miss players with the national team to make the preparation and to receive the players, I will say, later and close to the first uh, games uh, for Euroleague or for the domestic competition. Po ilgų ir sunkaus čempionato Žalgirio žaidėjai gaus kelias dienas polisio ir prie ekipos prisijungs sekmadinėje prieš draugiškas rūpinės su Kazanės Unix ekipa. Normally the players will be in the team, I will say, one day before opening game against Kazan, so they will make the practice on the 29th and We'll join the team the 30th uh, when we play against uh, Kazan uh, here. Po draugiško Vlado Garasto taurės turnyro komanda sužudė dvi treniruočių pabūdžio rungtynės su Krasnodaro lokomotyv koban ir Kijevo budvelnika kaipomis. Antradienį žalgiriečiai vis darbe Lietuvos rinktinės narių išvyksta į draugišką turnyrą Stambule. Kauniečiai dalyvau šešių komandų turnyre ir pasak trenerio stengsi įsigyti kuo daugiau patirties. Žaidžiant su tokiomis ekipomis kaip Stambulo Bešiktaš ir Ulker. Give, I will say, playing time to unexperienced players as we have many unexperienced players. Plus experienced players who were out for one season, for example, Tadas Klimavičius, who was totally out, and Jan Kunas, who made his operation and came back. So all these games uh, and uh, also Rixus uh, Cup that we are playing now are games which we need to work uh, to improve a little bit, to uh, get uh, experience more and more for our young players. Naujojo sezono įsilgė krepšinio gerbėjai jau rugsėjo 30 dieną galės išvysti ne tik Kauno Žalgirio ir Kazanės Unix Dvikova, bet ir spadinga Lietuvos čempionų komandos pristatymą. Ekipos treneris tikisi sulaukti palaikymo ne tik tose rungtynėse, bet ir viso sezono metu. Fans should come not only in this game. We expect our fans to every game. And Žalgiris is famous because of, you know, the strong team, the fight and the fans. So we need them because this is the most difficult season for us because we make a restart and we need them to support us in this new start that we are doing.